welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics today we'll discuss about expectation value now expectation value is nothing but mean or average value of a measurable quantity mean or average now let's see the definition expectation value expectation value of an operator a with respect to with respect to a wave function is defined as is defined as the notation is this angle brackets um, about the operator and this minus infinity to plus infinity we take this product of psi star a psi dx divided by minus infinity to plus infinity psi star psi dx now this is the integral form we remember this this is the normalization condition right if you remember the normalization condition in the integral form so what was the normalization condition in integral form normalization condition in integral form all right so this was integration from minus into plus infinity psi star psi dx equal to 1 now this same condition in Dirac notation in Dirac notation the same condition is given written as like this now this is where the name bracket is been taken like this is the bra vector and there is a say we have a small c here bracket and this so this is the bra vector this is the cat vector we remove this c here so this was the notation being used for the from this uh, for the bra and cat vectors all right so this this is a scalar product this notation psi star psi uh, bra psi and cat psi um, this is a scalar product scalar product or or inner product all right so this is the normalization condition in Dirac notation all right so let's write it down now this one can be written as like this size bra psi then in the middle there is the operator then there is a cat psi and now divided by bra psi and cat psi now this is used this formula is used when psi is not normalized this formula is used when psi is not normalized all right so now if psi is normalized if psi is normalized then we have psi star dx over minus from minus infinity to plus infinity this is equal to 1 or we can say in direct notation this is the normalization condition all right so the expectation value of an operator with respect to a normalized wave function is given by this psi star a psi dx is equal to bra psi inner product with cat psi all right there is a sandwich between the cat and the bra vectors okay so if you want to write down the expectation value 
of a position operator let's write down the expectation value expectation value of position operator all right so this is x x is the operator of the position operator x this is a format x cap and this um, enclosed within angle brackets so we are assuming that psi is normalized if psi is normalized then x the expectation value of x is given by minus infinity plus infinity psi star x psi dx which is psi x psi where psi is a function of both x and t all right now the expectation value can be interpreted as expectation value interpretation now one can think of it like that like we have we create a large number of a large number of identical systems okay a large number of identical systems now what we'll do is say we have 100 students so each one of them is assigned to one apparatus or one system all right now all will make some measurement of the position say interpretation expression value interpretation okay for in context of the position operator okay so we are doing it for position operator position operator so the thing is if there are large number of we take identical system and each student is assigned one system okay so everyone makes an um, makes a measurement so this is x1 x2 x3 all right x4 and say xn now what we do is like this means is that the measurement the expectation value which is the average value which means that you take all the x's measured values for the identical system these are all identical system all right so and divide by take the average of it so this is one interpretation of the expectation value all right it could be expect, um, explained like it could be taken as this now one let's write it down that this is interpreted as this is interpreted as the average value average value of x that we would expect that we would expect to obtain obtain from a large number of large number of measurements okay so this is how we interpret the expectation value it's not the most probable value expectation value is not the most probable value but it is the mean value all right or so this is interpreted as the average value of x that we would expect to obtain from a large number of measurements all right now we are not doing this measurement on a single system because once you do a measurement in a single system uh, it disturbs the system it, all right it's no longer in its um, initial position or the position it was supposed to be all right uh, so alternatively alternatively it could be viewed as the average value the average 
value of position for a large for a large number of for a large number of particles which are described which are described by the same wave function by the same wave function now alternatively it could be viewed as the average value of position for a large number of particles which are described by the same wave function all right so these are the two ways you can look at it okay just remember one thing it's a, it's a average of the position, uh, all the position values for from a given measurement all right for a given uh, quantum system now similarly one can write the expectation value of a momentum operator with respect to a wave function so expectation value of momentum operator all right so this is written as within angle brackets p cap minus infinity plus infinity psi star x t p x psi x t dx now just replace the operator by its instead of px we can write minus ih cut d by dx psi x t dx all right so this is the expectation value of momentum operator now if we want to write down we'll just state this thing that the expectation value the expectation value of an operator a cap is its is simply its eigen value all right so this is a cap psi operate a operating on psi gives you a size a small size so this is the eigen value there's a constant quantity which is do which does not depend on uh, x or t now this is the eigen value so one can see that if you write down the expectation value of this statement says the expectation value of an operator is simply its eigen value now how to see it just write down the from the definition that this is can be written as this divided by psi inner product with psi this is a now a operating on psi can be written as the eigen value can be taken outside this product so this gives you this inner product and again the inner product in the denominator this these two can cancel these are the same numbers this will give you a number all right uh, so it will get a so this is how, how we can see that the expectation value of an operator uh, a cap is simply its eigen value say we are re re referring to it as small a all right so if you want to uh, get the expectation value of uh, some um, say for the if you want to calculate the momentum of momentum of a uh, of a free particle so we'll write down the free particle wave function and operate the momentum operator on it all right so let's do it now we want to calculate the expectation value of momentum for pre free particle expectation value of momentum operator for a free particle wave function now what it says that say the free particle wave function is a plane wave uh, given by a plane wave 
all right so this is the wave function of a free particle we'll uh, derive this in uh, schrodinger uh, after we do schrodinger equation schrodinger's equation all right so the momentum in this case so the momentum can be found out the momentum can be found by operating operating px the momentum operator on psi on this wave function so we'll operate this px operating on psi which is minus i h cut d by dx now this is operating on i kx this is minus i h cut and if we differentiate this we get iota k uh, this is iota k x iota k x uh, this is h cut k e to power i k x so it become h cut k psi so we can see that operating momentum operator on psi we get this value now this is the lambda the eigen value so eigen value h cut is eigen value of momentum operator of px with respect to psi which is given by e to power i k x so this is the measured value all right this has uh, like momentum as we know from classical mechanics it's a vector quantity and this also this in, in 1d this has a sign now this this gives you a positive value this is a positive number right greater, greater than because h cut is positive k is k is will, will be positive here so uh, k is always positive so this is greater than zero so that means this momentum is moving towards plus momentum is towards plus the positive x axis so the momentum value uh, the value of momentum px is towards positive x axis all right uh, if it so this this wave function represents a particle this wave function represents a particle a particle moving along positive x axis all right similarly one can say that if if you have a psi which is minus i k x now this will give you if you operate px on psi this will give you minus h cut k psi that means this is negative sign represents that the this wave function this wave function represents a particle wave function represents a free particle moving along negative x axis all right so this is how we interpret the results uh, of the measurement so the measured value of the momentum operator on in this state is h cut k and in this state this wave function is minus h cut k all right so uh, thank you for watching have a great day if you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like, subscribe and uh, share with your friends.